Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And today, I'll show you how to request your content to be temporarily hidden in Google Search results using the Removals Report in Search Console. And I'll also talk about the ways to review requests made by other users to remove outdated or inappropriate content on your site. Before I go into Search Console capabilities, I would like to stress that the tool should only be used for temporary removal requests. You must take additional steps in order for your content to be removed permanently. I'll talk about permanent removal of pages from Search at the end of this video, but check the links in the description for more detailed information. In addition, you cannot use the tool to remove personal information, report offensive information, or doing anything but managing search results from your own website. To remove information from Google from the web in general for content you don't control, check the links in the description. Now that we are aligned on what can be removed and for how long, let's talk about the Removals Report in Search Console. That's the reason we got together today. The Removals Report is divided into three main sections, temporary removals, outdated content, and safe search filtering requests. Let's go over each of them in more detail to help you understand how to use them effectively. A temporary removal request is a way to remove specific content on your site from Google Search results. For example, if you have a URL that you need to take off Google Search quickly, you should use this tool. A successful request lasts only about six months which should be enough for you to find a solution to either allow the content to be seen or to remove it permanently. When you log into Search Console, you'll find the Removals report in the navigation bar. Select the Temporary Removals tab, if it's not already selected, to submit a new removal request. Then click New Request. You have two types of requests available. Temporarily remove URL will block the URL from Google Search results for about six months. This will also clear the cached copy of the page. Use this option as a quick first step when permanently blocking a page from Google Search results. Clear cached URL clears the cached page and wipes out the page description snippet in Search results until the page is scrolled again, when the snippet is generated from the new content. Until the next scroll, the page description will be empty in search results. Use this option when you remove sensitive information from a page and want to update your results snippet in Google Search without removing the page itself from search. Be sure that you've removed the sensitive information from your page before clicking this, or else Google will just recrawl the page and find the same content. For each of these two options, you can submit a request for a single specific URL or for an entire URL prefix. Make sure you think twice before submitting a request for an entire prefix so that you don't unintentionally block pages that are important to you. In the temporary removal section, you'll find a summary of the page removals requested through this report in the past six months. You'll see the URL the request type, the date requested, and the status. You can also use this report to cancel a request if it's no longer necessary. The outdated content section provides information on removal requests made through the public Remove Outdated Content tool, which can be used by anyone to update search results showing information that is no longer present on a page. This is something that you probably won't need to look at much, since Google users can't force your pages from search using this tool. There are two types of requests. Outdated cache removal is used when the page still exists, but some content has been removed. Google clears the page snippet in the search result until the next scroll, and searches for the removed content will no longer show this page. Outdated page removal is used when the page no longer exists and a user has requested its removal from the Google search results. The report table shows the history of all submitted requests for this property in the past six months 
using the public remove outdated content. I won't go into the tool in this video, but you can check the links in the description to learn more about it. Whether you're using search at work, with your family, or for yourself, safe search can help filter most sexually explicit results. In addition to setting your personal account preferences, parents can turn on the filter for their kids' supervised devices, and workplaces or schools can turn on the filter at the network level. The Safe Search Filtering section in Search Console shows a history of pages on your site that were reported by Google users as adult content using the Safe Search Suggestion tool. URLs submitted using this tool are reviewed. And if Google feels that this content should be filtered from Safe Search results, these URLs are tagged as adult content. The report table shows the history of all submitted Safe Search requests for this property in the past six months. Check the links in the description to learn more about it. Permanent removals should not really be part of this video, since it's not requested or reported via Search Console. But since we're talking so much about temporary removals, I thought a short explanation might be in order. To remove content from Google Search permanently, you must take one or more of the following actions. Remove or update the actual content from your site and return either a 404 or 410 HTTP status code. Non-HTML files, like PDFs, should be completely removed from your server. Block access to the content, for example, by requiring a password. And use a noindex meta tag to indicate that the page should not be indexed. This is less secure than the other methods. Please note that simply redirecting an old page with a 301 response is not enough to remove it from Google search results. And neither will a robots text directive work as a blocking mechanism. And that's it. We're done for today. Hopefully now you understand how to request to remove specific content on your site from Google search results. And also how to track these requests along with other user removal requests related to your site. In the next episode, I'll talk about how to use Search Console to check security issues on your website. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google Webmasters YouTube channel, where we'll be publishing lots of Search Console videos. Stay tuned. Removed. 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 Gotcha, Junior. <laughs> <laughs>